What's up everybody, Mr. J here. Today we're gonna dive deep into the endoplasmic reticulum, a part of our membrane-bound organelle series here on this channel. Now, to start with, I wanna remind you that there's gonna be two special guests who are going to appear later on in this show, so make sure you watch to the end. So let's get started. Endoplasmic reticulum, shortened with ER. What is it? Well, the endoplasmic reticulum has the prefix endo and then the suffix plasmic. That basically means it's within the cytoplasm of the cell. So if you look at any typical cell, all of the fluid inside is going to be the cytoplasm. And within it is going to be the endoplasmic reticulum, which brings me to the second word, which means frame-like structure. So it's frame-like, which is a perfect name for what it looks like. I mean, look at that. It's a lot of frame-like, mesh-like structures going in and out. Now, I want to remind you, there's two parts to the ER. There's one that has a lot of dots, ribosomes, which we'll talk about later. That is called the rough ER. Why? Because it looks pretty rough, right? Makes sense. The other one doesn't have those ribosomes, and it's going to be called the smooth ER. Why? It looks smooth. Biology is easy, y'all. It's in the names usually. Now, for the endoplasmic reticulum, I want you to think of the main function overall as a factory, okay? These factories are going to be really common in cells that have some sort of product to them, whether it's a hormone, whether it's an enzyme, maybe a lipid like cholesterol, anything a cell produces for the body is likely gonna have a lot of endoplasmic reticulum. So it's most commonly in your liver cells, your sex organs like testes, ovaries, those types of things. Now, I've divided this into two main sections. So think of this as a zoom in to this cell. We've got our cell membrane out here, and we've got our nucleus, our endoplasmic reticulum, our smooth on the left side, and the rough on the right side. But before I get to that, I wanna introduce our first guest, his name is Rough Mr. Jackson because he just had a pretty rough time um, at the emergency room. So, Rough Mr. J, I'll give it up to you. Tell him your story. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you all this. I went into the emergency room with about two broken bones, and now I have four. And I think I had two kidneys to begin with, and now I have... One, so uh, I, uh, I'm in quite a lot of pain. It was a quite painful process. I just went in and they poked and prodded and that things just kept breaking. It was quite painful. Just remember that. Rough, rough ER visit. Uh. Oh, geez. He seemed like he was in rough shape, but something he said just, just stuck with me. He said that, he had a rough ER visit, and it was quite painful, wasn't it? Well, interestingly, quite painful begins with Q and P, and those are actually the two functions of the rough ER. Let's point them out. The Q stands for quality control for the P, protein synthesis. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit, guys. Hey, thank you, rough Mr. Jackson. I appreciate it. So what does this all mean? Well, proteins build your cells. Synthesis means to create. So we're basically creating proteins within the cells to build their structures, okay? How do we do that? Well, if you've watched any protein synthesis video, you know that in the nucleus there's DNA, there's instructions here. And that DNA is going to be transcribed onto a long molecule called RNA. And the RNA is single-stranded, it'll look like this. It'll lot of, have a lot of letters like A's, U's, G's, and C's, and it's going to have the code, the recipe, basically, to make certain proteins, right? Now, in order to make the protein, though, you need a tiny little chef, and that chef is going to read the recipe. That chef are the ribosomes, okay? So those mRNA transcripts, I didn't label that, mRNA transcripts, are going to go and find the ribosomes in the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, once it starts reading that, it's going to bind to it, it's gonna start reading it, what the ribosome is going to do is begin chaining together the proper amino acids to that growing protein. And as it does that, it will basically hang out inside of the endoplasmic reticulum. 
What's nice about that, having it here, rather than out in the cytoplasm here, is the ribosome can literally begin embedding the protein into the endoplasmic reticulum. So this is like the growing protein in red that I'm drawing here. By doing that, the endoplasmic reticulum can control the quality of the product, of the protein. And that's what I mean by quality control, is it's controlling how good that protein is folding, how it's manipulated, because proteins have to be perfect in shape and uh, function in order to do things properly for the cell. So that's one reason why the ribosomes are found in the rough ER, making it look that rough structure or texture, because it's doing protein synthesis inside of it and modulating the protein folding. Wonderful. So now that's the rough ER. We also need to talk about the smooth ER. And in order to do that, I'm going to bring in my colleague, Smooth Mr. J. And he'll tell you all about it. Oh, silly Mr. Jackson, I'm going to leave the teaching to him, the average man. Me, I'm like a king. I need to talk about my last ER visit. I went in and I was treated like a king. They walked me back in negative five minutes. I actually got all of my body parts repaired. My brain's working at 110% capacity now. So clearly, smooth ER visits likely do happen for people like me. Get on with your lesson, Mr. J. Well, that guy seemed a little uh, odd. Um, but again, there's something he said that, that just stuck out to me. He said, clearly smooth ER visits likely do happen to people like him, I guess. So let's write that down real quick. Okay, so now that I have this written down, it's just hitting me. Every letter here describes a function of the smooth ER, and there's a lot of them. So let's walk through them each uh, by letter. Okay, so clearly C, this stands for calcium storage. Okay, you probably don't know too much about calcium in your classes right now, but calcium is important for you to think and for you to move and to do basically anything in your body. Very important ion, okay, so it's a charged atom, a charged atom of calcium, it'll look like this. And it is stored in the endoplasmic reticulum, specifically in the smooth side. Okay, so that's one of them. Now the other ones are a little more relevant maybe to what you're talking about. So V, this stands for vesicles, okay? These are transporters. So these vesicles will basically transport things throughout the cell, and I'll show you that here in a second. But let's finish it up for, uh, first. L, likely, stands for lipid synthesis. What are lipids? Any sort of fat. Now what's interesting is fats are usually said like, oh, they're bad, right? They're high calorie, what have you. Well, there's a lot of fats in your body that are really beneficial. Things like steroid hormones, sex hormones, those types of things that help your body basically function properly. So really important thing there. The other two, the D stands for detoxification. Anytime anything gets into your cells, that needs to basically be eliminated because it's dangerous will be done by the smooth ER, okay? And then lastly, H. H stands for hormone synthesis as well, okay? So we've got a lot of things being produced. Remember, these are like factories, right? So the smooth ER will produce things and sometimes needs to ship them away. Let's talk about how they do that. So in this smooth ER, I'm gonna look right here. Sometimes we need to get the products out of the cell. How does that happen? Well, let's think. If the ER is producing products inside of itself, we need these guys to eventually get out of the cell. So here's the membrane, we're getting it out. So what will happen is the ER membrane will literally pinch off like this and it will form what's called a vesicle, which is basically just a transporter surrounded by a membrane that contains a product. Okay, so let's say all these products are like hormones, for example. So your smooth ER just produced some hormones. We need to get it out, out of the cell into maybe the bloodstream, which will be coursing through right next to the cell. Okay, so we need to get it into that bloodstream. Once this happens, this vesicle is going to move up, 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 to the cell membrane and actually fuse with it to the process called exocytosis. So once it fuses here, it's going to be exocytose. That means exiting the cell and eventually dump 
into the bloodstream. So this is one main function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in action, forming the vesicle with the product, sending it out of the cell to help the body. Wonderful. Hey guys, this was the endoplasmic reticulum overview. I hope you enjoyed our guest stars here. They're kind of strange though, right? So if you like this video, uh, please like, please subscribe if it was helpful. Comment below if you have any questions. And once again, thank you for watching.